What's up guys over here today we're going to be exploring the mantle and doing activities on the test net to get familiar with this chain and also for potential future benefits as always nothing in this video is financial advice always do your own research and all information provided as is so follow at your own risk all links are going to be in description mantle is an l2 chain built by BitDAO that raised 230 million dollars in the funding rounds and the only prerequisites for these activities is having some girly ETH for the gas. You can get the small amounts of girly ETH from faucets or just buy a bag at Testnet Bridge. And Mantle is a VM compatible chain, so we're gonna be using MetaMask as our wallet. Regarding this video, it's gonna be split into two parts. In this part, we're gonna be discussing Mantle itself. And the second part is gonna be about some Mantle DeFi applications and their own campaigns, and we're gonna be doing the activities on those two. I assume you already have girly added to your MetaMask. If not, you can do it on chain list. Link is down below. In order to add Mantle, you just need to go to the official Mantle website, click connect wallet. And when you connect your wallet, it will suggest to add the network if it hasn't been added previously. After that, I suggest joining the Discord right away. Here, pass verification. And also in browse channels, be sure to activate the faucet channel so you can actually see that. Here in Discord, you can request a thousand tokens every four hours. In order to request tokens here, you need to write down command faucet and your wallet address. And as you can see, it's gonna send us a thousand bit tokens. These B tokens, they are not girly, but I would actually suggest only using this faucet as a backup faucet. The main native faucet you can use on the website and in order to request the tokens, you need to be on girly, you connect uh, your wallet, your Twitter must also be connected here. Then you can see your address here and you need to specify the amount of tokens that you wanna mint. The maximum is a thousand bit. And it states that each address can mint up to a thousand tokens every round thousand blocks. That's about four hours. And additionally, an address can hold a maximum of a thousand tokens at any time. We can actually try that now. I already have a thousand bit. Well, let's try to request another thousand. I can't even mint it because apparently it's checking my address for the amount of tokens that I already have. Okay, I just moved my bit out of my wallet and now let's try to do that. As you can see, now the button is active and we can mint. This one is happening on Girly. So we're minting that. And once transaction is completed, we will need to save the hash of this transaction because we're gonna use it later. There you go, says transaction confirmed. We can go to the MetaMask. We need this one. You click view on block explorer and this is going to be the address that we're going to submit later. Just save it or keep the tab open. Also, I forgot to mention that in order to see the bit tokens in your wallet on GirlyNet, you need to add them manually in your wallet. The contract address is in description. You just come here, click import tokens, paste the contract address and click add and you're done. And the next step is gonna be bridging our bit tokens from Girly to Mantle. For this, we go to the native bridge. Be sure that you're on Girly. Here you should also see Girly to Mantle testnet. Choose your bit tokens and select the amount. For this one, we need to approve. This is gonna be the approved transaction. And then we're gonna have the deposit quote unquote transaction, which is basically a bridging from girly to mantle. This is gonna be deposit. And if you wanna move your tokens into the opposite direction, this is gonna be withdraw function. There you go. Now we can deposit. It says time to transfer around five minutes. Yesterday when I did it, it took me around two to three minutes. So hopefully should be a bit faster. Now you can ignore this window, you can just close it and just check the token balance in your wallet. And also we're gonna need the transaction hash of bridging transactions. So this one, deposit, click view on block explorer and we're gonna use it later. And your MetaMask, just select the mantle testnet to check the token balance. 
And once your tokens are here, you can start doing transactions on the mantle. Now, in terms of these transaction hashes, we need to use them in Zilli. If we go to the mantle Zilli, first of all, you may notice that the Zilli looks quite different because every quest here only gives one experience. However, all categories pretty much give some sort of roles and completing Zilli quests is gonna be one of our main goals in terms of interacting with the mantle. And if you check the Wesley testnet category, there are a couple of quests here where we need to submit transaction hash. First, this is gonna be this one, min test bit from the mantle faucet, and we need to provide the etherscan address. This is our minting transaction, you just copy the address and paste it here. And the second quest is this one, bridge test bit to mantle testnet. And here we need to submit the URL of our bridge transaction. For me, it's gonna be this one. So you just paste that here. And after you submit this, you can close your Explorer tabs. We're not gonna need them anymore. And before we go to DeFi applications, we're gonna do another quest on Zilli. This one is for dexpad.io. And based on instructions, in order to complete it, we need to create our own token. So once we're on the website, we're connecting the wallet, set MetaMask. It's not connecting because I'm on the wrong network. Mental testnet. Now it's gonna be connected. There you go. And here we need to select create token. Here we'll live in standard token and we need to fill these fields. Token name, symbol, decimals, put 18 decimals, pretty standard. And then maximum token supply, whatever you want it to be. Just click create, should be signing some transaction here. There you go, token successfully created. Now we can go to manage token. You can see your token here. You can copy your contract address and actually add this token to your MetaMask. The token, there you go. And you can also open the Mental Explorer and check this address in the Explorer. As you can see, it's identifying our token. Then we can go back to Zilli, follow Dexpad on Twitter, and claim the reward for this quest. Okay, now we move into the DEXs. I was able to find four DEXs that are currently functioning. These are Mental Swap, Fusion X, Jump, and uh, Pulsar. You can do transactions on any of these DEXs. However, only Fusion X has one quest on Zilli currently for the Mental. Again, I'm gonna touch on all of these DEXs in full in part two. Here, just for the reference, we're gonna do a couple transactions of Fusion X. First, you connect the wallet, then make sure you're on the mantle. Connect the wallet and let's try to swap some tokens. And they also have the native faucet that you can use after the tweet, keep that in mind. Let's try to swap something. Let's do this one, doesn't really matter. As far as I know, transaction speed on Mantle is very, very fast. So yeah, tokens already arrived. Let's try to add liquidity. Add liquidity, beat. Okay, is this proportional? Yeah, it looks proportional. First we need to enable. You can play with the settings if you want. Boom, approve. It's super fast. It's like literally two seconds. All right. Yeah, so for transactions on DEXs, it's pretty regular stuff. Trade, provide liquidity. If there are farms, you can stake your OPs into the farm. Harvest rewards, stuff like this. All for DEX is going to be in description, so play with whatever DEX you want to play with. And lastly, you should refer to the Zilli for any other activities that you may find here. So what categories are presented here? This one is social, it's pretty easy. Then we have quizzes and polls. Next one is about testnet. These are transactions and some are just visit the page and then you can uh, claim your reward. 
there is one question about the testnet and then some quests that we've already submitted. Okay, we can claim. As you can see, a lot of stuff here is manually reviewed, so you'll have to wait a little bit. Then we have section coming soon. And then we have core quests. The first one is for FusionX Finance. As you can see, these are currently locked for me because I need to complete at Girly ETH. And this one is manually reviewable. Next one is going to be staking ST ETH on Agent Layer Testnet. If you don't know how to do it, check the Agent Layer video. It's also going to be in description. And the third one is also about Agent Layer, but it's currently paused because there are problems in adding to the rocket pool. Then we have the governance. The first quest is joining the snapshot space. You can just follow the link. What you need to do here, you need to join this space. Then you go to your profile, click view profile and you need to copy this link. But what you need to do, you need to strip this link one slash and the hashtag sign. So it should look like this snapshot slash profile slash your wallet address, no hashtags. And then you copy that and you submit it in this quest. And then when this quest gets reviewed, you can start doing this. This should be pretty simple hold bit we already got that then you'll need to delegate to, to participate in the mental governance the next one is vote and you'll need to wait probably for when the proposals are active because there are currently no active proposals here on which you can vote and the last one is going to be update your bit delegate profile honestly i don't know what this is and unfortunately, we cannot check this now. And the last quest is for the mental OG role. Now, unfortunately, based on the information from the Discord, if you go to uh, channel roles, you can read about all the roles and their current state. And it says that mental OG, this role is locked at the end of the uh, January 10th of this year and is no longer available. Same as medium activity roles and high activity roles. And if you have any questions or suggestions regarding the testnet, you can post in this sub channel. So if you go to mental testers, you can see this channel, you need to click here, then on more and where I have leave thread, you're gonna have join thread. And then it's going to appear in the channel list and you can use it from here directly. So if you're doing activities just for the potential uh, future benefits, like the possible airdrop, what would be the strategy here? First of all, uh, doing as much as possible on the Azili. All the quests that you can complete, you need to complete. Then in terms of transactions, I would say do 10 plus transactions on your first day and then as usual, come back from time to time to do a couple of transactions every one to two weeks. Also check their ecosystem portal because there are other applications, um, not just DeFi. And as always for the informational channels, Twitter, Discord are the best. I'm going to end this part here. And in part two, we're going to be exploring DeFi applications on mental testnet and their own campaigns. If you found video helpful, please drop a like, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.